Legend of the Juggernaut The arm of the Imperium is long. Once it reached even this forest, in a time when the barbarian tribes of the Clan still ruled the land. The Deventer Magisters fought to take it from them, inch by inch if need be, using terrible magic. The Magister Harach brought an army to this forest, led by Alaric, his friend and general. For Alaric, Harash fashioned a suit of the finest armor, infused it with lyrium and his own blood magic, and named it Juggernaut, after the unstoppable giant golems guarding the gates of Minrathis. Thus armed did Alaric win many victories against the clan. When defeat came, it came from within. Alarak's own lieutenants rose up against him, jealous of the favor he had curried with the Magisters and eager to take the Juggernaut armor from him. Alarak was slain, and as each successor gained the armor, the other lieutenants turned against him instead. The Deventer outpost fell to vicious infighting. In a fury, Magister Harash voyaged to the outpost and slew the last three lieutenants. The Clane, however, were already approaching the outpost in force. The barbarian chieftain of the clan desired the fabled armor himself, and even with all his power, Harach could not hope to stand against them all. Instead, Harach used the last of his own life force to cast a spell of blood magic that bound demons to the bodies of three dead lieutenants, as well as Harach's own lifeless corpse. These bound revenants hid the pieces of the juggernaut armor, and although the barbarian sacked the outpost, the chieftain found neither the armor nor the revenants. The Juggernaut Armor's legend lives on, and more than one brave soul has ventured into the depths of the Brazilian forests in search, never to return. From Ferelden, Folklore and History, by Sister Vitrine, Chantry Scholar. <laughs>